Alrighty, so in this video, what we're going to look at is uh, Active Campaign sending the first email uh, in an automation to the, uh, the visitor when they first opt in. So, what we've got the landing page set up, we've connected to Active Campaign. So, now what we want to do is set up the autoresponder. So, there's many different ways that we can do this, and I'll show you the way that, has, that I've found works uh, for us. Uh, especially when we're using multiple lead magnets and lots of different landing pages. So I'll show you that right now. All right, so we've got the form. And just to recap, we have the opt-in form on the landing page and it's set up to link to a list within Active Campaign. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and then Active Campaign. All right, and we're just going to customize this feed. All right, so if you're not sure about how this is set up, go back and check the previous video for the active campaign uh, set up with Gravity Forms, and it'll get you up to this point. So now what we want to do is we're going to actually put a tag in. So I'm going to put lm, whoops, lm dash name. So this is lead magnet and then the name. Okay, so it's important that we get this exactly right. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to hit update settings. So what this means is that when someone enters the opt-in form, they enter their details, they'll be tagged with LM name. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to uh, Active Campaign. I've got a couple of automations in my test account here. Uh, so now what we want to do is import a very, very simple automation that I've already got set up. So we can import automations via a URL. So I can go new automation, import automation, and then I can just paste in the URL of the automation here. All right, so there it is. So I've added that in there. And then I'm just going to click on import. All right, so this kicks us into the automation wizard. So the reason this exists is because some of the settings that are in the automation, you'll need to customize for your own account. All right, so we'll just go get started. All right, so we want to customize the from name and then the from email. So I'm just going to change it to the funnel shop and then done. And that's all we need to do to customize that. All right, so next what we want to do is customize the actual email that gets sent to our customers. All right, so we can see here that the automation goes tag LM name is added. So as you would have noticed before in the active camp in the gravity form setup, we're adding LM name into the uh, as a tag. So when they get added to the active campaign list, they get tagged LM name. So then we're catching it with this automation tag LM name is added, right? And now remember name is just a placeholder. So we want to customize that to suit the lead magnet. So we can keep that really simple. So let's say your lead magnet says something about five things, you would just call it LM dash five things. And then within your active campaign list, you would also set the tag LM dash five things. Now it's important to keep them exactly the same. So this works. Uh, all right. So go in here and we've got uh, send email delivery. So I'm just going to click on that one. And then I can just click on edit. All right, so we've got the templated logo here. So we want to change that one. All right, so we're not going to dive too much into exactly how to use Active Campaign at this point, because all you need to do is upload the, the logo. And there's also lots of documentation with the Active Campaign for editing, things like that. We're just going to stick to the funnel. All right, so we want to change these fields, but we're going to leave them for now. Uh, this is where we need to change to, to go to the delivery page. So I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to go back to my uh, example website. I'm just going to duplicate that tab and then I'm going to find my thank you page. I mean my delivery page, sorry. I could just go Dell and then that's where I had that one. So that's just saved in my history. So that's much easier to find it. All right, so there's my page. So I'm just going to copy that URL, come over into Active Campaign, 
So I'm just gonna re-highlight that just to make sure I get that perfect. I'll click on the link there. And now we'll paste that in. All right, I'll just click okay. All right, now I don't need to have this content here. So we just delete that. All right, so a good level of spacing there. We'll customize the sign off, customize this text, but we'll, we'll leave that for another video. We'll uh, go through some best practices and some tips and some wording options. It's a little bit more coaching around how to do this, uh, but this one's just about how to get, get it installed. All right, so now I'm just gonna go into this gear icon because this shows a few more settings. So let's double check that the subject, we're happy with that and that also will need to be customized. So your lead magnet short name, download. So in the example I mentioned before about, let's say your lead magnet has something to do with five things, you could just say your five things download or your five things ebook or your five things checklist download. Okay, so keep it nice and short. Uh, then we've got from and then reply to and then we can test the campaign here, which I highly recommend do that. So you can just click send a test and make sure everything works nicely. I'm just gonna click on close. And now I wanna uh, activate this. So I'm gonna go next. All right, so this is a bit of a recap on this page. So I'm pretty happy with how all of this is set up. All right, again, could send a test here, but I'm just gonna go finish. Now this should take me back to the automation. All right, here we are. All right, so now I see it's set to inactive. So I'm just gonna set that one to active. All right, so I've got LM delivery simple. So we can customize that to, to suit the name that we want, but I'm just gonna leave that. Go back to automations here. All right, so I've imported one with the same name, but that's all right. So we've got one that's active, TFS, LM delivery is simple. So nice and easy one that just sends one email. So we don't have to worry about customizing all the different ones. We just wanna get this up and running. All right, so now what I wanna do is test to make sure that this worked. Okay, and to get started with that, I wanna to go to the landing page. Okay, and I'm just gonna input another email address here. So we've got Simon, and then I'm just gonna put in my email. So if you're using, this is just a, a, little, a little tip, if you're using um, Google Apps, you can put in plus and then anything, and it'll still go to your main email. So I've got Simon at, so I'm just gonna go plus simple test. And then click download now. All right, so that's taking me to the thank you page. Excellent. Okay, now I'm gonna go into active campaign and just make sure that that worked. So we'll go into the automation. I'm gonna go view contacts up the top there. All right, so now I can see that Simon at Simple Test, uh, Simon plus Simple Test at Renegade Empire has been added to the, uh, to the automation. So now I'll double check my email to make sure that that's come through, check that the link works okay, and that should take me to the delivery page. So that's how you import, set up, test, and you get your first automation set up, uh, the welcome automation set up, the very simple one uh, in ActiveCampaign.